Kahala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone of Ruel. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors, peace and mercy to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. Um, I'm going to start just really quick, uh, you know, grab a couple of precepts, get a couple of thoughts, some things that were on my mind. I don't uh, really have a lot of time. I'm at the plantation, but I wanted to get this out. I, I desperately needed to get this out because I just feel off. I feel weird when I don't, when I'm unable to do a video, um, because at this point I feel like this is the only reason why I'm here. Um, you know, we all have our lots, whether it be great or small. And, um, if you ever are weak in your lot in some point in time, you need to pray for the spirit to come upon you, um, you know, or to return to you so that you may fulfill whatever it is, you know, the Lord has you to fulfill. All right. So with that being said, I want to go straight to John chapter 9, verse 40. Uh, and then I'm going to get it in the uh, NLT as well. But I'm just going to read the bottom really quick. Okay. Um, starting at 39, actually. Yahweh Shai said, For judgment I am come into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Yahweh Shai said unto them, If ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now ye say, We see, therefore your sin remaineth. All right, so basically you have a denial of Yahweh Shai, which is what this uh, back and forth is all about. Um, you know, especially pursuing to there is neither Jew nor Greek, or uh, when it comes to who the heathen nations are, the difference between an actual Israelite foreigner, right, and in the actual uh, actual heathen. Uh, so let's go to it in the NLT and in the backstory. This is, you know, Yahweh Shai healing a blind man that, or healing a man that was born blind, right? And then, you know, he's a, uh, I don't remember who was walking with him. It's somewhere in this chapter, but, you know, he was like, Father, um, or Master, who, who, who in this man's family, him or his parents, who sinned that he be born blind? And basically, Yahweh Shai was saying, actually, let's see. Oh, it's right here. I can just read it. All right, as Yahweh was walking along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. Rabbi, he, his disciples asked him, why was this man born blind? Was it because of his own sin or is his parents' sin? It was not, and this is Yahweh Shai replying, obviously in the red, it was not because of his sins of his parents or, or it's not because of his sins or his parents' sins. This happened so the power of Yahweh could be seen in him. We must quickly carry out the task assigned to us by the one who sent us. And that's another thing, all right? Um... And I am guilty of doing that, you know, putting things off when I shouldn't. So, you know, publicly, um, Salakia Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. And if that's you, you ought to repent of that as well. And, you know, sometimes you, you can't break away. But when you can and you don't, um, that's, that's, a, that's a clear and apparent problem that we all need to fix within ourselves. Okay. Um, I don't mind being an open book to a certain extent when it comes to. Uh, you know, my shortcomings in this truth because maybe it could be a blessing for somebody else. All right, so verse four, uh, or, or continuing for four, the night is coming and then no one can work, but while I am here in the world, I am the light of the world. Okay, so you know, he spit on the ground, he made a salve, um, and then he was made to be able to see. So, fast forward, the Pharisees, the, the, he walked in the synagogue and it's like he, you know, y'all was healing on the Sabbath. Why, why, why he doing this? What, what's going on? He's he got a devil, and, and so those that were advocating were saying, um, you know, God doesn't hear a sinner, and so how would he be able to conduct these miracles if he were a sinner? Okay, the back and forth, and they did not believe that it was he they, that was written of in the scriptures. So you had some that believed and some that didn't. You can read, I believe, seven chapter seven or chapter eight. Um, when it says, which is a clean cut to some of the Christians who hold on to the doctrine that say, oh, he came to his own and his own, you know, accepted him not. But there were those that believed, for one, there were those that believed uh, in John chapter 7 or chapter 8. You need to read through either one, or maybe it's here in 9. But it does say that he was in the synagogue and some bit did believe and others didn't. And it also, how do you have the circumcision if none of the actual Israelites believe? How do you have those that were the disciples, the original disciples, uh, um, that were 
commission to go do what they needed to do to preach the gospel, who knew who they were. So it's just, you know, another cut to foolish Christianity. Um, okay. So now that we got the backstory, he physically healed a blind man, right? And that blind man believed. Now, spiritual, and then boom, and that's what's beautiful about this, because now it went from the physical to the spiritual, all right, which is a, a another change from the physical law that, uh, you know, these Pharisees held on to as salvation. Not that you should not keep it, but that was their, they believed that that was their ticket to salvation, not the son of God, not the son of Yahweh, whose name is Yahweh Shai, okay? So that's beautiful how this unfolded. And then let's see, we'll get. All right, so we'll, we'll get 35. All right, so when Jesus, uh, ooh, yeah. when Yahawashai heard what had happened, he found the man and asked him. So they, they interrogated the man and, and was asking him, you know, who healed you? Why did he heal you? Uh, you know, well, you weren't blind. You, y'all lying. Y'all, 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 y'all talking that mess. You weren't blind. Um, Go get your parents. And the parents were afraid because they didn't want to be thrown out of the synagogue. So they was like, he's grown. He can speak for himself. If he told you he was th that he was healed, then he's healed. Okay. So, all right. Now let's move on to 35. Uh, do you believe the son in the son of man? And the man answered, who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him. Yahweh Shai said, which is crazy because he made, he, he cleared his blindness and then said, you see me. So I thought that that was amazing. Um, it's very, very subtle things that you find in the scriptures that are just completely amazing, beautiful, uh, uh, warming to the spirit. Uh, and the man answered, who is he, sir, that I want to believe him? You have seen him, Yahweh Shai said, and he, spa and he is speaking to you. The man answers, yes, Lord, I believe, the man said. And he worshiped Yahweh Shai. Then Yahweh Shai told him, I entered into this world to render judgment. To give sight to the blind, right? So those who believe on Yahweh Shai, the mysteries of this, uh, of this, of this word, of the scriptures, are revealed unto you, right? Wisdom has to try you first, but the mysteries are revealed unto those who are obedient, unto those who believe, because the power was given well, that Yahweh possesses was given to His Son, right? It was given to Yahweh Shai. So all things, judgment, all things. Uh, governance of this world uh, you know it, it was given unto him uh so i reread it i intend i entered into this world uh to render judgment to give sight to the blind and to show those who think they see uh that they are blind some pharisees who were standing nearby heard because they was always ear hustling trying to see what was up so <laughs> So pharisees who were standing nearby heard him and said and asked are you saying we're blind if you were blind, you wouldn't be guilty, right? So if you didn't know, you know, the sin you committed, then you wouldn't be guilty. But you knew, you know what's up. So that is why you are guilty. Because you think you have the knowledge, you uh, you will remain guilty, right? So that goes into that that being of a broken and contrite spirit uh, or and of lowly heart, understanding that you know nothing, um, that we are nothing, and... Uh, when it cut, well, I guess when it comes to this flesh, of course, um, and that you submit yourself in humility uh, to Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, to coming up under the vibration and to learn and to apply what you've learned to your life, and that is how you gain wisdom. And wisdom is the stability of our time, right? Uh, and that is a scripture you can look that up. It's in Ephesians, and we gonna need that very, very soon. So sticking to you know these worldly things being knowledge not that the law is worldly um but it's just like an unto a, a fleshly thing and you know how shy came of the spirit but uh this is people that think that the, i'm just gonna grab some scriptures on people that think that they know something and this is usually those who are not in the truth um but they actually know nothing at all so um uh, romans 1 and 22 and we'll get it. I'll stick in the NLT, I think, because sometimes it, it don't it don't read the way it's supposed to read. And other times it does. All right. But that is why we do our due diligence. And. Uh, we get, you know, in multiple versions, I'm going to start at 21. 
Um, yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship, worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they began to think of foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused. And you see that now and to this day. They don't understand that Yahweh is an austere power, is an austere man, um, or that he's a man at all, okay? Or that he's a, a spirit of fire, or that he is just, but also harsh, very stern. And as is Yahweh Shai, as the scriptures tell you, if you have seen me, you've seen the Father. And of course, we don't physically see him, but we understand the spirit that is put out as we read and learn these scriptures. That is the same spirit that is of the Father. Not that they are the same entity, right? But, you know, they, he, he came to do his Father's will. He did it. All right. And now the second half of this thing has been kicked off to where he's going to return, uh, you know, um, but he's not returning as a man. But anyway, as you see, our people are into this as well. So, you know, you know, you got niggas that say the black woman is God and, um, you know, they worship animals or they worship these the creatures more than the creator. And that was also a thing in the northern kingdom that they were doing. Um, and that is why they were spewed out of the land before the southern kingdom was or they were spewed out of their portion of their inherited land before this uh, before the northern kingdom was, or southern kingdom was. <laughs> Um, you know, doing that child sacrifice and all kind of craziness, which continues on to this very day, because, again, roughly paraphrase, there is nothing new under the sun. Continuing on, 22, claiming to be wise, they instead became utter fools. And instead of worshiping the glorious, ever living power, they worship idols made to look like mere people and birds and animals. And I forget that this my phone will not record this video if i let it go too long so there's one corinthians uh one and 18 and 20 i'm just gonna get these really quick and, and that'll be it because i forget i get the rolling and and um if i let it go too long my phone won't record this wisdom of power wisdom of yahweh the message of the cross is foolish to those who are headed for destruction and that is self-explanatory but we who are being saved know it is the very power of Yahweh, as the scripture says, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and discard the intelligence of the intelligent. Right. Those who think of the things of this world and also liken unto the vibration of Esau Edom. Who? Why? Because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked and, um, you know, his vibration is over this earth. So they think that that is intelligence, but uh, that is nothing but. Uh, what is it? I guess light on the left hand side. Right. But we are preaching the light of the right hand side, the light of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. So it will seem foolishness unto those that who have no understanding, um, you know, who are fitted for destruction. So understanding that, understanding it's going to take great courage and great will and great faith to walk in uh, this right handed knowledge, to walk in true light, especially in the times to come. We are going to be persecuted, some of us more than others. So please, Baba Kusha, I pray um, that. Whatever you hear, hear, understand that it is time to repent. It is time to walk boldly. It is time to also be circumspect and to be uh, uh, walk as a serpent. Be wise as a serpent, but as harmless as doves. You are behind enemy lines. It is not time for you to fight at this moment. But be careful what you say. Be careful what you do around those who, you know, around, around other Babylonians. Um, and... Walk in the wisdom that, that, that the Lord has given you. So with that being said, Shalom.